What's going on YouTube? So I'm here in beautiful Saronida, Greece, and I'm going to teach you how to keep your car uh, like long term without driving it. So this is what we're working with. We're leaving, just got done with vacation. Our car is an Opel Vectra. Um, pretty good car, especially for Greece where all the cars are tiny. Um, so yeah, basically we're not going to be driving it for maybe 10 months. So I'm going to teach you guys how to keep it stored. Alright, so basically first things first, we're going to be putting a car cover on this bad boy. So we're going to have to remove uh, whatever the hell that thing's called. And uh, so basically you're going to want to remove any extremities so you can cover it. Uh, trailer, this, I don't know what it's called. So what's going on here is ours has a key so it's locked. Basically you got to take these plastic things off and then there's like these screws. So we're going to undo those. Alright, so I just took the rack off the top of the car. Next thing we're going to do, fuel system, most important. You're going to want to put an additive, like a stabilizer, in there to prevent it from getting all gummy or stuff and causing all sorts of problems. Also, your gas could go flat if you leave it for a long time, which means losing its octane level. So this is the additive we're going to be using, Marine Formula Stable Ethanol Treatment. Treats up to... 320 gallons and on the back here it says one ounce every 10 gallons or 38 liters so we're going to be putting about an ounce and a half in here and the way that we measure it pretty cool on this bottle all you got to do tip it upside down it's kind of weird Basically going in through this little thing right here. Alright, you guys don't want to see this. But basically we're going to put it about just under an ounce and a half in here. Alright, we've got this all measured out to an ounce. Right now, we're just going to tip it all in there. Sometimes there's that little flat in there. So I put my finger on in there to let it through. See, there's that little door right there. Didn't have pressure to push it open, so I just push it open to it done. And then we're just going to do another half an ounce. Right, another half an ounce. Just under half an ounce, actually. Put it in there. And we're going to push that little door thing open. Let it all in. Close her up. Now we're going to run the car for 20 minutes here. So after we've taken care of the fuel system and putting the additive in, Next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the battery. So, basically to remove the battery on this car, all you got to do is remove this screw on this terminal, this screw on this terminal, and because I'm in Greece, I don't really have any tools, I'm going to be using this. It's going to take a while, so we'll be right all back. Right, now the battery's out, got it right here on the floor. Basically, don't need to do anything else. Close this. We're going to close the hood too now we're gonna bring this puppy upstairs all right so we got the battery hooked up to a trickle charger and what this does is it lets a little bit of energy go to the battery over a long period of time we're basically gonna leave it here until next year the trickle charger we're using is the SeaTech multi-us 3300 
and because I'm in Greece and the voltage is different I also got transformer to go from 220 to 110 and that's about it for the battery just so the last thing I did was put just plain old saran wrap right here on the windshield so the windshield wiper blades can rest on it so in case the rubber comes off of those blades it won't get on the glass it'll just go on the saran wrap and I can take it off real easy. Alright next thing we're going to want to do is take care of the tires um, basically you're going to want to over inflate these tires because they're going to be sitting for a long time and you're going to want to do that to avoid flat spots so these tires are what are they Bridgestones and they're rated at max PSI 51 so I would inflate them at around 55 which is what I've already done so don't really need to show you next thing you want to do is you're going to clean this car as you can see this is nice and shiny already clean wax and on the inside and on the vacuum it make sure you got all those food particles out and stuff like that because the last thing you want is to come back to your car and it smells like just make sure it's all clean you don't want to come back to a dirty car alright lastly you're going to have to make sure your doors are locked you're probably going to have to do it manually because you took your battery out already so just get out there lock them all up it doesn't want me manual lock when it's open All right, second to last step, we're going to take this rag and put it in the exhaust pipe because you don't want rats or anything getting in that are making their nests or anything like that. Just like that, it doesn't have to be tight. Don't make it too loose either, just so stuff doesn't get in. And last but not least, we're going to put on this car cover. All right, now we got the car cover on. Make sure you also tie it underneath in case there's wind and it tries to blow it off. But you're pretty much done. Ready to be stored.